In this video cast, we're going to review the parts of the cell. The first time through, I'll go through in more detail, but the goal here is that you want to be able to identify what the part looks like. I also want you, and you're also responsible for, the functions of those cell parts, and those are going to come out of your textbook. A, the structure here is the nucleus. Within the nucleus, we have B, which is the nucleolus. We also have the genetic information, which is C, the chromosomes. Here we have the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm is located between the cell or plasma membrane and the nucleus. These little white dots are called ribosomes. We also have structure called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It does not contain, it's endoplasmic reticulum that does not contain ribosomes. So you see it here, you also see it here. G is rough endoplasmic reticulum. Notice the ribosomes are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. H we already covered, cell or plasma membrane. I is the Golgi apparatus. J is a lysosome. K is the mitochondria. L is the centrosome, which is this whole brown structure. Within the centrosome are contained centrioles, which are these yellow structures. I'm going to go through those again without such a description. You just watch and listen and pay attention and make that connection between the structure and what it looks like. Nucleus, nucleolus, chromosomes, cytoplasm, ribosomes, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, cell or plasma membrane, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, mitochondria, centrosome, and centrioles. One more time, nucleus, nucleolus, chromosomes, cytoplasm, ribosomes, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, cell or plasma membrane, lysosome, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, centrosome, centrioles, nucleus, nucleolus, chromosomes, cytoplasm, ribosomes, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, rough endoplasmic reticulum, cell or plasma membrane, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, mitochondria, centrosome, centrioles. Review this. Also complete the worksheet. By the time you get to the test, you should be able to complete this worksheet without looking at your lab packet, seeing the part and identifying it what it is and spelling it out correctly. Remember you also have a practice test over cell parts.